Replacing the memory and storage on this 15 inch Omen chassis is really easy with a few pro tips all on the way. To begin, I'll place a microfiber cloth between the table and lid to prevent scratches. Then remove eight screws that secure the bottom panel. The four screws in the front of the chassis are much shorter than the rear. Installing the longer screws into the front of the chassis will damage your laptop. I'll use the suction cup to gently lift the bottom panel enough to get my fingers underneath, then gently pry away starting at the sides, then moving to the rear of the chassis. Next I'll unplug the battery. On this laptop, I prefer to use two plastic pry tools. With one on each side, I'll push the cable away from its plug. There's not a lot of room here and we'll need to take an extra step when plugging in the battery cable. I'll show this near the end of the video. Memory accessibility is straightforward on this Omen. Push the two metal latches away from the memory and it'll spring up. Note the notch on the socket itself and memory. Reinstalling your memory will require proper orientation. Slide the memory in at a slight angle till it's fully seated, and then press into place with a satisfying click. There's two M.2 slots for storage, both with their own copper cover with a thermal pad for improved heat dissipation. Here's the factory one terabyte installed on this particular Omen. And here's the empty side that I'll install my own drive since I'm running out of space. On this particular unit, the Wi-Fi card is soldered into place. Now this is also a review unit and I do not have permission to replace its thermal paste. So before we can reinstall the bottom panel, the battery must be plugged in. There's very little room here and I do not feel good about forcing this connection at an angle in fear of bending pins. I recommend partly removing the battery to gain a better advantage here. There's five screws that hold it into place. I'll remove four of these screws leaving the fifth in its place. That screw is located under the M.2 drive and we do not need to completely remove the battery to complete this task. Once you remove these four screws, you'll be able to lift the battery up enough for a proper plug angle. Success. Secure the battery back into place. Reinstall the bottom panel, setting it into place and pressing down gently on the edges of the laptop. It'll pop and click into place. Then reinstall the four long screws in the rear and the four short screws in the front. The two short screws in the middle may want to jump off your screwdriver as they pick up a magnet within the chassis. Power the system back on. This Omen does not require power from its power supply after unplugging the battery to boot back up. You'll get a CMOS reset notification and about a 60 second wait from power on to operating system access. This procedure did not reset my undervolt within the Omen Gaming Hub either. For more information on that and this laptop, click here or links in the description for those videos as well as the proper tools for jobs like this on my Amazon storefront. Hopefully this gives you the confidence to upgrade your Omen should you see fit. Thanks for watching.